It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Well, welcome everyone to the Mayor's Report. And remember, we do two Mayor's Report. We do the Mayor's Report in Pottsville, where I am at today. Uh, we happen to be taping the show at the Visitor's Bureau. Uh, we want to thank them for the hospitality. And of course, we do Mayor Jeff Cassatt every month as well in Hazelton. Uh, and my good friend, uh, Mayor Dave Clues. Uh, Dave, how you been doing, all right? Been doing good, Sam, I mean, keeping busy. You got a lot of things going on here, I'm telling we you. We sure do. We just taped the, um, the Schuylkill Report and, and uh, Jerry was talking about all the activities. It's, it's just amazing, you know. But I have a lot of questions I want to ask you. But first, uh, we have a guest here. Um, she was on the show before, uh, Nora, Nora Lee, who is the head of recreation and uh, manager of the JFK Pool, which is on York Farm Road. Um, tell me, Nora, what's exciting things that will be happening this year? Well, to start with, we start off the summer with the Memorial Day Mile. Um, that starts up at Cackle, and it ends down at uh, Garfield Square. It's $25 to enter, and you also get a free T-shirt with that. And we'd like to thank our sponsors, Cackle and Titan. I, I brought Dave here for a reason. To yep, do he's going to hold to it do, up do for do us. the modeling. Okay. Now, what does this say? It says Pottsville Memorial Mile. Okay. So now tell me about the Memorial Mile. What, what does that represent? Oh, there's the back of it. Okay. And that's for the fitness challenge on the back okay, then. Good. Tell me, what is the Memorial Mile all about? I mean, why would I want to participate in it? Well, it's a fun race. Um, there's nine different age groups. So it's you're, a race. Yes, it's a race. So there's nine different age groups, and there's awards in each one, and then plus there's the overall male and female. And it starts up at Cackle and ends down at um, Garfield Square. And so the benefits was, what is it? It actually helps to benefit um, Minersville Track. Okay. Because uh, the Burgesses, who are the coaches for Minersville Track, they were the ones who uh, started helping us with it when the city took it over. So part of the profits goes to help them also. Now, what if I don't want to race and I just want to come? You can walk, run. Because I know, I know he's not going to race. There's no way that you're going to get him to race. You know? <laughs> no. I, he's just about to walk. Let him. I, I stay up there for registration and I drive down. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the, I was really impressed when we, when we did this show at the pool. Okay, It was nice that the, the mayor have us go there. Uh, this year, um, there are, tell me some of the things that are happening at the pool this year. Dave, do you, you have any... Oh, she's the expert on the pool. <laughs> oh, well, out at the pool, part of our Pottsville Fitness Challenge, which kicks off on June 8th. And you won't see him there either, but... Some... Yes, he will. <laughs> he is. Um, that there is $30, and that also gets you the T-shirt. But there's um, yoga classes, per, uh, pound classes, uh, aerobics, open swim, uh, bros boot camp. This year, we're going to have the Maroons Mobility Madness Challenge, which is going to be running, swimming, um, pushing a tire, flipping the tire up the hill out at JFK in the parking lot, and a few other things. That's going to be part of it. We'll also have, um, are you fit enough to be a police officer? And are you fit enough to be a firefighter challenge? I'm, I, I, I'm out of all of these. <laughs> I don't even qualify for anyone. You know, I'm just going to go there and watch, you know, et cetera. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. And then to get the younger kids involved, we're going to have uh, soccer basics being taught. And we're going to have a hoop fest to see how good you are at shooting your basketball. When does this start? Uh, June 8th, and it runs to August 17th. Okay, this is at the pool. Uh, everything, most of the classes are out at the pool. Okay. And what if, if it rains uh, in climate weather? And whatever? It gets, like, they have certain days they have things. Um... And if it's going to rain this year, we came up with a plan that instead of having to cancel the classes, we're going to offer um, Jolwyn Park okay. under the Lions Amphitheater okay. as the alternative for a rain place. Mm -hmm. And now, the do you still have the seniors coming out to do uh, yep, we uh, have lessons and stuff like that? Yep, we have aqua aerobics for them. Uh, well, it's open to any age, Yeah. so you don't have to be a senior. <laughs> Okay, so if, if I, um, the, the pool is absolutely beautiful. There's no question about it. And it's well maintained. I got to The graduate. city does a great job yes, with it. Yes, they do. They, they really do. Um, it, the number of you want to call is 570-449-4200. Um, now, do you have to be a resident of Pottsville to, to utilize the pool? Nope, anywhere. Yeah. 
So I mean, now there is a higher price for non-residents. Yeah. And what are the what are the prices so people know that? Um, they're not out to the public yet. Everything will go out April first. What were they? I it mean, will. It it'll probably stay the same. It'll be two fifty for a student. Now this is the city pot, the city pricing. Okay. And for then, the student, for the, the entire. Right, and then you can also buy a season pass, and the season pass I believe is sixty dollars or fifty dollars for a resident student. Okay. And that gives you access to the pool all summer. All summer, yeah. It's well maintained. Uh, but what I like about it is there's always something going on there, Dave. It's been years I've, I've noticed that there's just a lot of activities. Uh, Nora Lee and the rec department have done a great job of you know, utilizing that facility <clears throat> as, as much as possible. They get very creative. Uh, it's you know, great to have for the community. Uh, brings a lot of people to Pottsville also that, you know, because not every community is as fortunate as we are to have a pool of that size and, you know, uh, the grounds around it, uh, concession stand, uh, a tremendous staff, a whole bunch of uh, great young workers come in for the summer uh, and Nora Lee whips them into shape <laughs> and keeps them all in line. So uh, it, it is a really special place. You were telling me something last year for the disabled. Is there something that you do for the disabled? We have I thought was swim after. lessons. Yeah. Uh, we have our normal group lessons. And this year we're going to include actually adult swim lessons too. But uh, every Saturday morning we have what we call adaptive swim lessons. And that's open to anybody with disabilities. Wow. And we usually average between 20 and 25 a week yeah, with them. I think that's great, you know. So it, the pool is open for everybody. There's a lot yes. of things that, you know. So you have things for the young people, things for like Dave who are lazy, doesn't want to do anything, uh, can't walk, can't race. I mean, so what do you just give like $3,000 so donation? I, I wait for when they, at the end of the season when they have the uh, doggy swim and everybody <laughs> brings their dogs out. You should come down and yeah, see that. Yeah, you should come down for that. Can I bring my Bichon down? Sure, yeah. absolutely. I think they you did tell pool. me that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they swim. And the dogs go in there? Dogs yes. go in with their owners, and, uh, you know, it's, it's end a great of season. Time. And, you know, it, it's really fun to be there. Oh, uh, my the, goodness. You know, all the dogs in, and, and uh, you know, they're, they're having a good time. It's it's like changing, just like, let's get the humans out of the pool <laughs> and, and bring the, bring dog the dogs in. <laughs> Because they have as much fun playing in the oh, pool. Oh, my goodness. That's fun. <laughs> do you have a dog? I do. I have a chocolate lab. Uh, you have a dog? I don't. Yeah. We have a little Bichon. You know, I'm sure the, and oh, they, and they and make friends. Are, you know, they, you know, that's all, all kinds from the, you know, the, the little, you know. The big ones. Yeah. Big oh, ones. yeah. And they're all playing together. Yeah. That, that's a, the first time I ever attended. That may have been the most amazing <laughs> things. You would think I with would all think. those mixes of dogs, this could be absolute chaos. Yeah. It's more just it's, like a doggy playground. Oh Everybody's my. getting along and splashing. Oh, that's fun. It's, now, what's it's funny is, is the big dogs are usually in the baby pool, and the <laughs> little dogs <laughs> the are in the pool. big pool. <laughs> The um, uh, When is that? At the end of the year? It'll probably be August 18th yeah. this year. If not the 18th, the 25th. Yeah, you close I think it's around in August, don't you? Usually around with the kids going back to school so much earlier. Yeah. It's we're closed earlier than we'd like to, but it's usually like that day. Yeah. We close on a Friday, and then the doggy swim is Saturday or Sunday. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And uh, of course, the pool is maintained uh, up to inspection all the time. You know, uh, any other activities happening that we should know about? When I'm out at the pool every Tuesday night, we're going to have family nights from seven to nine with a different theme each week. Um, some of the themes are uh, Luau, uh, Shark Week, Olympics. We do the national night out with the police department there. The luau. Mm -hmm. My friends, go to the Luau because this year he's gonna wear a grass cart <laughs> and one of those lays, okay, and you'll see the mayor of Pottsville Dancing the hula dances with the grays. You'll do that, I right? I actually have a grass skirt uh, uh, with coconuts yeah, yeah, yeah. out there. Just yeah, get the coconuts. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that because that'll be a major fundraiser. Because he does, he does a pretty good hula dance. I've seen him many times. <laughs> After a couple of yingling beers, he does a great job. I'm well, telling no, you. He's volunteered to get in the dunk tank for National Night Out. Well, didn't you do that last year? Then we didn't have a dunk didn't tank. have a dunk tank last year. Well, oh, what did it have? Something you throw at or something? Didn't you, I remember you, you were in a picture or something where you put your face in something. Oh, I was in the shark. Oh, in the shark. Yeah. Oh, in the shark, yeah, yes. okay. So now they have a dunk, dunk tank. We're gonna right? get a dunk tank okay. for that. All right, 
but I still think it would be good to bring the uh, grass skirt there, okay? I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just could see him dancing the hula dance. Uh, that's a good job. And what else do we have beside the hula dance? We have, you mentioned some things I cut you short. Well, we have, uh, I don't know, there's a whole list of them. You should know these like this, Norman. I know I should, but we just came up with some. We're going to do a dinosaur land, uh, Christmas in July, the Olympics, a back to school, a game night. Um, we have a, one of those giant Jengas. And we're going to take board games out for our first one, just because usually still a little chilly then, yeah. that they won't be in the water. Now, the interesting thing about this, my friends, if you want to have like a, you know, get together, maybe a group of your friends want to have a, you know, a good time, give them a call, find out what it's all about, and maybe go there and, you know, have a, an opportunity. We to, do you know, do rentals, too. We rent out during the oh. day and at night. Oh, so I could rent a pool? There's yeah. A, yeah, and there's a very nice pavilion. I guess there's two now, isn't there? No, just one. Just the other one? one's not there yet. Okay. <laughs> I just love the way it's laid out. It's laid out so nicely there. It really is, and it's, uh, it's, a, it's classy. It's, it's, it's always refreshing. You know, and you, you do a, a really nice job, Nora. Not because you hear he says bad things about you, but I think you're doing a great job. He doesn't say bad things. <laughs> no, the Memorial Mile and the Fitness Challenge are the two. They're the first things that start us off with, and then we'll just go into the summer. Well, I wish you the best with that, and if we can help you. You know, we're, we're here to help you. Okay, uh, Nora Lee, my friend, she is the uh, head of recreation and manages the JFK Pool on York Farm Road. Uh, 570-449-4200. Now, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and we're going to drill the mayor of Pottsville. I got a lot of interesting things. I have an interesting thing that happened to me at Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant in this fabulous place. A um, person came up to me and said, Mr. Lasan, I want to ask you to ask the mayor this. And I thought it was very interesting. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Mayor's Report. I'm Sam Lasanda. We're here at Pottsville. As you know, my friends, we do two Mayor's Report. Mayor Report from Pottsville and also the Mayor's Report from Hazleton with Mayor Jeff Cassette. Today we're here with Mayor uh, Dave Clues. Now, before I get to that important question, uh, Nora Lee was here and talking about the different events that are happening. There's one event that we forgot to mention, and I think it's great. It's called the Pickleball, uh, Summer Pickleball League. Uh, the Bunker Hill at Bunker Hill Courts. It starts June 3rd to July 15th, and um, the uh, admission is $60 a team of two. Registration ends April the 31st. Now, we're going to put a um, contact up here. It's going to be Pottsville Pickleball at gmail.com. That's Pottsville Pickleball at gmail.com. Interesting, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. How is Mr. Mayor doing? Doing fine. That's good. Health-wise, you're doing all right? Doing okay. How's the old ticker doing? Well, I just was in for a pacemaker checkup, and they told me it's working fine. It's working the way it should it be working. It should be. You never know when it's working, do you? No, you really don't. Okay. So I'm at Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant, and um, we're sitting there, and a nice group of ladies, and the lady says, Mr. Osan, I liked your show. I watched your show, and that's good. I said, appreciate it. And she said, you know, you know what you... You must really like this mayor, Clues, because you always kid with him. I said, well, I know Dave many, many years. He was one of our major supporters even before he became the mayor and always supported us, you know, 12 old Dave's always there. So she said, would you ask him this? And we were just discussing this with all the women there. What does the mayor do? I said, well, she just, just, well, what does a mayor do? I mean, like, you know, you hear about the mayor, you, know, you think that everything in the city and everything that he or she's involved with. I said, well, I will ask my good friend, Dave Clues, what does a mayor do? Well, in, in the city of Pottsville, the mayor is, is tasked with, uh, you know, I'm in charge of the police department and code enforcement uh, on, a, on a more, you know, realistic basis because I, I you know i've got great people throughout city hall running each department uh so I, I tend to be a you know cheerleader for the city uh the one that still tries to tell people to believe and that there's a lot of good compared to uh a lot of bad so uh lo like to consider myself the uh uh you know the lead on you know my hometown here and what makes it special 
Uh, I'm in City Hall <clears throat> at least four days a week, uh, usually in the morning for about two hours because I do have my own business to run. Uh, you know, and I, I kind of try and keep up with what's happening in every department because, uh, you know, they all are intertwined one way or the other, you know, police for enforcement, code to make sure things are safe, you know, fire department working with both the police and the code offices, uh, you know, the tax office, uh, you know, keeps me informed on, you know, percentage of, uh, you know, taxes being paid, what's coming in, where they are in the cycle and so on. Um, it, it it keeps me busy. So does, yeah. So the the point is that you do know what's going on in this city. Okay. I mean, there's different areas. Even though you you have your meetings, you know, um, sometimes you vote for a person once they voted for you because of the the experience you have, and you bring that experience to the different department heads when you're re, you're reporting that. I know you said you you're a cheer, cheerleader, but yet in the same token, they have to bring their projects and budgets, et cetera, to you. Am I correct in saying that? That's correct. That? I review those things, and, and, and I bring probably a different perspective than, than some mayors uh, in that I, I'm, a, I'm a business owner. So I, I want my citizens, when they come into City Hall, to be treated as a customer uh, as opposed to a, a tax-paying citizen, which they are, but there's a different approach there. You know, when, if, if you're treating them as a customer, uh, they're usually a lot more satisfied than they are as I'm, I'm your tax collector. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've tried to instill that in the, de in the departments in that, you know, this is a business. Yes, it's City Hall and yes, there's politics at play. But if we put those things aside and work as you know, customers and then we're all citizens of the city, and we're all neighbors, and I, I have a real thing about neighborhoods, uh, you know, that I grew up in a strong neighborhood. My neighborhood, I'm fortunate I left it 35 years ago, moved back to it seven years ago, and I pretty much have the same intact neighborhood as far as the people who live there, or it's second and third generation. Uh, so we have that, you know, pride in our neighborhoods. You know, recently, uh, real quick, the, you know, with all these windstorms, we've had some tree trimmers in town, you know, and they're cutting back branches and everything. So, so I'm hearing from neighborhoods that are now saying, hey, you know, I just happen to be able to see the front of my neighbor's house or their backyard and uh, somebody needs to tell them about the garbage. So it's now it's like, hey, neighbors, you were hiding behind the branches before. Now you're visible. Oh, okay. Let's all keep it in mind. Let's yeah. all be proud of where we live. Yeah. You know, That's good. And take care of those things yeah. as, as opposed to having to, you know, hardcore enforce yes. things. Yes. Why, why, why don't we just all be good neighbors again? I couldn't agree with you more. I think that's absolutely, and that's another thing. Sometimes uh, there are decisions made, my friends, like we do in our station, uh, and that there's a lot of information that, you, that the public's not aware of, why you made a decision, okay? You may be able to discuss it at city council to a degree, but there's a lot of work sometimes, especially when you are making any kind of decision that affects either a business or people, there's a lot involved there. You just don't shoot from the hip. Because I don't like Sam LaSant, let's shut a station down. It doesn't happen that way. No. I no, mean, there, there's a there's lot a, involved. There's a lot of things that are done, you know, when we have a city council meeting, what, what most people, I think, believe is that at city council is where the things are, are solved. Well, there's a work session before it, and there's a whole week in City Hall that those things are being talked about, discussed, and planned for. Yeah. Till we get to City Council, you know, decisions have pretty much been made. We're still, of course, you know, taking citizens' input, in which we've typically gathered if, if we're dealing with an area, we've already talked to the citizens about what we want to do, how it's going to occur, and how it will affect them. At City Hall, or you know, now at a council meeting, we say on this date, this is happening. There's been a whole lot of front end work done before we're bringing it up and voting on it at council. Mm -hmm. And that's usually why a lot of times at council, it's either usually a unanimous vote or you'll have somebody abstaining or there are times when, you know, 
we vote no. Uh, you know, I'll vote no. Somebody else will vote no on you know another idea. That happens. But right now, we've had a pretty good team working together. Our our war zone is back in the work session. You know, when yes, when we're discussing each one of our thoughts and direction on it till it gets out front, it's usually yeah. you know solved with a lot of you know coordination and working together and collaboration. Are you uh, glad you ran for mayor and you were the mayor? I, I, I'm still I'm still enjoying it. You know, I get I get that question a lot. You know, uh, how are you enjoying it? Mm -hmm. Uh, it has its days. There are, you know, there. Are, I, what I say in the last two years were there days that I want to go in and say, "That's it. I've had enough. I'll go back and be 12 volt Dave." Yeah, but you're still 12 volt Dave. But, yeah, I'll always be 12 we, volt. Dave. We have a lot of things to talk about. We come back after this break. Welcome back to the Mayor's Report. I'm here at Pottsville. I'm here at the Visitor's Bureau, uh, Explorer Schuylkill. I appreciate them letting us have our show here. I'm here with Mayor Clues. Uh, it's the Mayor's Report from Pottsville. Of course, you know we have the Mayor's Report from Hazleton as well with Mayor Jeff Cassette. All right, let's talk about, we got about five minutes. There's so many things happening that always fascinates me. Events, the historical marker, and, and everything else that's going on. Yeah, we have quite a bit. Uh, like you said, the historical marker, Alan Jaffe credited with making the, uh, the New Orleans jazz sounds, was born and raised here in Pottsville, so he'll have a historic marker. On that same day, we have the Schuylkill County Firemen's Convention. We have the Soapbox Derby coming up on Laurel Boulevard, May 18th. You should get out and see those kids race. <clears throat> uh, Vendors and farmers market throughout the summer is going to be happening. Uh, the logger joggers in town on April uh, 20th. You know, all those runners come to town. Yingling Stars and Stripes with Lee Bryce is uh, July 13th. That will also be fireworks. We have uh, trains coming in throughout the summer. Uh, it's a pretty busy, busy place here right now in Pottsville. And, you know, makes me proud to be mayor when those things are going on and I see all the teamwork that comes together and it's refreshing because we're days. coming into the spring now, we're in spring and you know, these things start kicking up and, and, and people get excited, you know, but you know, the, the thing about the, the area here is you always have, have something to go, even in the winter time, you have things going in the winter time. Okay. The, um, the historical marker, um, you talk about his history. It, it, remember I told you we did that tour up and down. I like to do that with you. And it showed all the different things mm -hmm. in Pottsville. And Schuylkill County is just loaded with these things. It really is. You know, the dynamics here, it's history in the you know, coal and iron uh, industry and, and the trains that used to run through here. Uh, you know, it, it, is, it is a ton of history here in Pound. Now, if people want to know, uh, like the soapbox derby, when is that? The soapbox derby. Uh, soapbox derby is May eighteenth. May eighteenth, and th th like you said, it comes down Center Street. It comes down Laurel Boulevard, over oh, Laurel, by the, the courthouse. Oh, by the courthouse, okay, because that gives them the. That gives the, them a nice long. How many years do you get a lot of people? Boy, every year, you know, I, I I'm almost ashamed to say that for all the years they've had it, it's only probably in the last five or six that I've gotten over to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's it's a it's one of the fastest tracks they tell me in the country. Wow! Uh, there are probably easy thirty to forty cars racing that day, different age groups. Uh, just just fun to watch. You know, watch the kids get in there. Their parents involved. Uh, uh, the Woomers uh, from Woomers Garage and Towing have kept it organized and funded for since its beginning. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, just a great event. The Schuylkill Fire Convention. Yes. What, what, what is that? Uh, that will be May 11th. That's all the county fire departments. It's a, it's a day long parade. Okay. Uh, a um, day long almost, parade. Oh, well, you got uh, a whole host of Hopefully volunteer no, fire no, no fires that day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that happen during a oh. convention, but, uh, wow. Yeah, they'll, they'll come into town early. They, they actually have judges that almost like doing a car show, except everything's a fire truck or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, first responder apparatus. And then uh, some high school bands and things like that. And they'll uh, start out at, uh, I think they're moved out to about 16th Street now. And they'll come down Market to Center, uh, Center up to 
Laurel Boulevard uh, in front of the courthouse. They'll start to direct them where they'll go for the day. And then uh, uh, the Good Intent Fire Company is the host. They'll have, you know, food and beverages for the guys there. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> good day to be a fireman. You've got a lot of things going on. Oh, we yeah, sure do. Yeah. Uh, well, anything in closing you'd like to say? Uh, you know, just uh, stay possible proud. <laughs> You know, you you really love this town, don't you? I'm born and raised here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And and it's not like, he doesn't say it as a politician. He loves his, his town. This is my hometown. I, I love greeting the train and saying, welcome to my hometown. Best thing that ever happened to you is meeting me. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when we used the mayor no comment line. <laughs> All my friends, the mayor's report here at Pottsville. Remember, we do Jeff Cassad every month as well. Have a lot of fun, and you know, that's, that's the way it should be. Enjoy yourself. Uh, any comments, any questions, Sam at SSPTV.com. Uh, more than happy to listen to what you have to say, and hopefully we'll discuss it like that lady came up there and said, what does the mayor do? We'll see you next time.